Hey, it's your boy Simeon Van Z, and we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to have no cuts, so it might be a little slow, and I'm not, and this is just going to be a video on some pros and cons about having a YouTube channel, and you can use a lot of these statements or even show your parents this video if they don't want you to have a YouTube channel yet, so uh, I'm going to get straight into it. First of all, YouTube is a perfectly safe platform. YouTube is con uh, US owned and it will mo it monitors everything. So you're not going to be getting a lot of trouble with it. If you do get bad comments, you can delete them. So it, what you do to get the YouTube channel is you sign in with a Google account or your email and then you can start posting. You can sign in on two devices so that say you're son or daughter uploads a video if you're on your phone you'll get you, and you look occasionally you see that video you don't like it, you can delete it you can delete the comments and if you also if your kids gonna be honest with you, you can also cap the amount of videos they make so say you only want them to do three if they make another one you can delete it if you see a comment that you don't like on a video from someone else or from them you can delete it so it's perfectly controlled it's a controlled environment you can also um what was the other thing i'm going to talk about um it's a good way to express yourself so you can express how you're feeling on youtube you can also use it as a platform to share things that you like and you can just show your friends that if, if you're the kid right now from the kids' perspective, they can share with their kids, with their friends, peers. Uh, they want to make videos, they're, all their classmates can see them. Um, and if you do see someone that is being toxic, which means it's not nice, or they're just being extremely rude in the comments section, you can just delete those comments and or report them. If you report the person to YouTube, YouTube will look into it and they can get banned from YouTube. I had to do that to four accounts. When I was starting, it's normally going to happen when you're in that zero to 15 subscriber range, and then you probably won't get as many. Um, if there is a link with a bunch of letters below it, don't click on it because it's going to be a spam to some website. Don't click on it, delete the comment, or report them if you do click on it. Um, so again, for parents, if you're watching this, it's a perfectly safe platform. You can control it, and there's barely any hostility on it. Um, here's another thing. Once you reach, I don't know if they've updated it, but 1,000 subscribers and 400 watch owls. Hold on, I don't know if I just said 1,000 1, subscribers and 400 watch owls. You can start making revenue off of it and revenue essentially you get paid for making the videos i don't know the exact transaction between youtube and you but you do get paid somehow um and of course if you meet the cri meet the appropriate criteria again because they're trying to monitor monitor and try to have a safe environment also if there are video and if you're one of those parents that doesn't like youtube as much like my parents um this is something good for the parents that are watching this. Um, if you are, it, or not if you are, if there are videos out there that are inappropriate or may contain things that may be appropriate to some users, it'll say, um, you know, if you uh, something to the effect of, if you click this button, uh, if you click continue, you are agreeing that this may be inappropriate to some users, so you can click out if you want. And if it gets to the point where it's too inappropriate, you'll actually say you have to sign in to confirm your age. So, as long as you make the Google account or your email so your kids don't know the password, then they can't enter those videos that may be inappropriate for the users, such as their age, if they are younger. Um... So again, you have complete control. You can delete videos, delete comments, ban toxic people. You can 
upload your own videos on their chan on their channel if you want to correct like say they said something that may be offensive you can make your own video upload it and say well he's younger he didn't mean to say that he or she didn't mean to say that and um you can just go like that approach you can just make a counter video right after it premieres their video um so that's good to know and um it's a good way to like communicate and make videos or do a service for someone else because you can also make your YouTube channel private. Um, and if your children are worried about like, can I edit it, which I didn't learn until just recently, you can just get like a Filmora Go or an editing service that's free. And if you want to go out of your way, you can start paying for it, but I just, I don't do that because again, I'm only at 31 subscribers as of this video. Um, and just, you want to try to make videos once a week or more. That's one thing, all right? So here's the part. If you kids have watched this far, any kids or preteens that are watching this, if you, this is the part where you want to pause the video and you want to run over to your parents and you want to show them this part, this is what will almost guarantee them to get you a YouTube channel. Alright? So pause the video and go bring it over to him. Okay. Hey parents. Alright? Your kid wants a YouTube channel, right? So, if you don't want them or you're worried about it, I can clear up all the things that may be confusing or worrying. Number one, YouTube is made in the U.S. Made in the U.S.A. It is made in the u.s so it is like monitored by the u.s it's not like a TikTok platform where it's from the chinese or the japanese or whatever those other apps so it is u.s controlled also you can delete videos from the same account on different devices you can sign out on two devices you can delete the videos without your kid even knowing until they see that they're not there you can delete your the, their videos you can delete comments on their videos, and you can ban users um, by filling out a small form about their account, like the report, the flag button, so that they can't really, they won't, soon enough, YouTube will process it, and they won't be able to keep putting those things out on your account, on your ch child's or your account that you're letting them use. Also, it's secure, again, made by the U.S., and it's a good way for them to express their self via using videos. Also, you can make theirs private. So if they want to have like a little business, a service, you can make videos that will directly be to that person. So it's private, no one else in the public can see. Um, again, I keep forgetting what I'm saying. I'm sorry for that. I really, I just threw on a Supreme shirt. I'm like, let's go. Um, all right, I'm almost 13. I've had a YouTube vi YouTube for eight months. My mom still doesn't like YouTube, and she's one of the older fashioned people. Doesn't like electronics as much as normal. She works from home in electronics, but doesn't like electronics. And I bet the person who's watching this doesn't like YouTube as much as electronics. Just know that it is perfectly safe. And also remember, if this is one of the biggest things your kid wants, let him film three videos that are appropriate. Let you sit behind the camera. Like, all right, th this is on my kitchen. This is on my kitchen table. You, the dad, or the mom, or the guardian, could sit behind the camera, and you could just see how they're acting, see what they're doing. Let them make three videos. You can delete the account. You can delete the videos, or you can make a new YouTube channel if this one just went on a spiral. All right. So give them a test run. Let them see and let them feel it out and see how you like it. How about you go onto their YouTube channel and you see the perspective from the viewers as well. Because you also got to think in this new world, being at home a lot, and also just plain technology, you also got to think about how they're feeling. How they, again, I'm not trying to like seem selfish, like, you know, the kids are everything. But you also got like, again, mo all in moderation, you got to think about how that kid is feeling, all right? Again, you can delete it. You can delete the account. You can delete the videos. You can delete comments. Sorry, my washer machine just went off. 
Um, yeah, so just think about how they're feeling. And remember, it's perfectly safe and secure. You can ban accounts, delete comments, delete videos, delete the channel. Easy setup, free editing services, go into the App Store, go into the Play Store, Android, Apple, doesn't matter. Good way to express your feelings as well. So, after you watch this part of the video, go over to your kid and say, here, we can set up a YouTube channel, set up a time for you guys to discuss how it's going to work, all right? You got to set some ground lines with your kid, and then let them film three videos. Let, let them see how it goes. Three videos over a week and a half, and just see how it goes, right? And if it goes good, if you're not getting toxicity, if you do get toxicity, go in and delete it. Just remember that, you can always delete comments. It's not a big deal. So now that you've watched this segment of the video, go talk to your kid about YouTube. My gyro just went off.